Hello, it's Nano here, and today I'm going to show you how and why mm, you could use some uh, command line tool like Image Magic that uh, you can see here to convert PNG images into JPEG in batches. So, Image Magic is, as you can see here, is free software. It's open source software that you can download for free, install on your machine. It's cross platform, which means that works on Linux, Windows, Macs, iOS, Android, and many other systems. That also includes NPM, Node, uh, Golang, uh, PHP, and Laravel, and many other applications. So I won't go through the installation instructions here, but what I want to see right now is the Mogrify um, tool that um, that Image Magic uh, offers us as well. So this is one of the command line tools included in uh, Image Magic. And even though you have to put the keyword magic in front of the commands on Windows and other platforms, you can directly write Mogrify on Mac and run the command. Here what you get is a list of the hundreds of commands that you can use with Mogrify and I just gonna just gonna show you uh, an example. So here you can see that you can run a command that says dash resize 50. That's uh, an argument, and then the image you want to run that command on. The one important thing to note is that Mogrify, many of its commands are destructive. So this would actually override the rows.jpg image into an image of half the size. So you would lose this image and you will get that one. So be careful with overriding things that you care about and not having backups, because if you don't have a backup, uh, Mogrify will sort of destroy your data. But uh, other commands like this one, so just saying I want to export these images to the format JPEG and select all the PNGs in the current directory, uh, it actually leaves untouched the the PNGs as you can see here and creates these ones. So I prepared a folder with some images as you can see here. And this is just PNG uh, snapshots, screenshots that I took with my computer. You can see the size of these images here. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna copy them over to this edit directory just in case we run any destructive commands and we don't wanna lose that data, right? So in images edit, I can see that I'm in that directory. The first thing I'm gonna do is to run the Mogrify with a JPG, right, JPEG format on one of these images. So I just drag and drop this image, click on that, and I get this JPEG as an output. I'm gonna append add to X, so the quick preview renderizes those two images the same way. And a funny thing happens here. So both images are almost the same size except for the JPEG that is 1KB bigger. This happens when PNG images contain vector data, data that has few colors, doesn't have any gradients, is really clean, right? But when you have images that have other sort of information that we're gonna see with this one that has maybe gradients, different colors, different shades, or even this one, the size of a PNG is a lot larger than a JPEG. And sometimes it's like, 10 times or five times bigger. So let's see. So I'm gonna run the Mogrify command with the format JPEG parameter in every single PNG in this directory. So I just click enter. And you can see here, if I sort by name, that we have the same images in the case of this one, uh, pending again, that at 2x. The color of the chairs here is slightly different, but the quality is almost the same, and the image is almost four times smaller. Same thing happens with this one, right? Uh, as you can see, we append that to X. Same, like there is almost no variation, just a slightly change in tone for the um, grays. It's a bit warmer on the PNG image, but uh, what in result we got is a set of PNG images, all of these ones, that uh, have been converted automatically. Something that maybe you can do with uh, an automation uh, function, a uh, batch command on, on Photoshop or manually. But here we're trying to automate it. So what I'm gonna do right now is once again, I'm just gonna 
run this command. So generate all the JPEGs. I'm going to delete all the PNG files. Just get these um, JPEGs. You can see, let's see. So this image is sort of taking the, the screen. And if I run this command, right, the resize to 50% on all the JPEGs, right, we can see now it takes half of the size half of the size again and then we're gonna do it three times more so this keeps um, getting smaller and smaller right so now the images are just really small pixels so we uh, what we can see is that we've destroyed our data making it smaller and smaller and then all the images are super small just a couple of pixels so once again I'm just gonna go and copy um, these images to that folder. I can actually do it this way. So I can say copy everything that is on their desktop images to desktop images edit. So we copy the, the original PNGs here. And what we're going to do now is resize with uh, an input format. So we're going to say 100 by 200, right? And we're going to say every single PNG. So we're now destroying data. So we're making these images a lot smaller. And if we use the inspector, notice how I right click here and then I click on Alt to see the show inspector option. Option. You can see here I get an inspector that is gonna give me lots of information, but what I want to look at is just the size of these images. So here is 100 by 75. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in to here so you can see that number if I now move because it's in say inspector this is going to go iterating with this number through all the images what we did is that we resized every single PNG image maintaining the aspect ratio and adapting the width of all of these images to 100 pixels right so that's pretty handy and you know just as a quick recap what we've seen is that image magic has all of these commands, I've just used one, uh, two, actually just reformatting and resizing. That's kind of the example usage that appears here. But we have a ton of commands like changing the gamma, the contrast, the levels, the border, adding, I don't know, modifying the canvas and doing a lot of different operations that you can expect from an image processing library. And, you know, this is something that you can use for free image magic and it's super cool because you can embed this in any application no matter what um, platform you're deploying to or what system you're using and just make uh, image processing happen sort of for free on the web on your machine on any application and do a lot of automation right one thing that's cool as well is that image magic uses postscript on the back end to work with pdfs as well and you can, you know, you can transform PDFs into raster images. You can export its pages or you can do manipulations there. And you can also work with SVG, with vector data. And you can work with many of the existing, most of the most used uh, web formats or image formats. So, yeah, this was just a video to explain a bit of how I do use uh, the Mogrify Image Magic tool to automate some of my image processing workflows and I hope you like this video. So I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.